How's it going everybody? This is Rob and today I have another PCE Works promo package video for you guys. Hopefully, unlike the last time, this one is a little bit more playable for me. The last time, if you recall, I did a PC Works promo package video and it was for a game or a box set, I should say, called Mahjong Dreams. And it was, it was basically strip Mahjong and unfortunately, my Japanese isn't good enough and my understanding of the game of Mahjong isn't good enough for me to have played that with any kind of skill. So I wasn't able to, in a strip Mahjong game, I wasn't able to get the girls to strip. But thankfully, it did come with a bonus DVD that had all the cutscenes, so you can still see the good parts. Uh, it also came with a soundtrack and a poster and some panties, and it was a very cool package. Unfortunately, I just I couldn't play it very well. So this game, from my understanding, is a puzzle game that I will be able to play. I don't know if it's just a single game or if it's a box set, but uh, we'll soon find out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Again, this comes from the PCE Works guys out of Germany. So it traveled quite a ways to get to me. I'm in Texas, USA. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure if this is a box set or just a single game, like I said. I know that I've been given a hint that it has to do with uh, puzzles and monkeys or something to that effect. So let's see what we got here. As always, very nicely packaged. Uh, here's something. What is this? Looks like a postcard. And <laughs> my chap I have it upside down. How awesome am I? Uh, that looks like a monkey to me. And I don't know what that says. Something part of NEC. And part three, I guess. Again, my, <laughs> my Japanese fails me. Not for sale. Bazuru, Bazaru de Gozaru no game de Gozaru. Okay, Bazaru de Gozaru no game de Gozaru. Interesting. I'll probably never mail this out, but it's pretty cool. It's printed on pretty nice cardstock, very heavy. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the. It looks like a box set. Either that or this single game is really, really fat. As always, PC Works always coming through with the goodies. This is Star Parodier, one of the games I do not own. I wish I did. Um, I'm a big fan of Parodius, and I think that's in the same same kind of vein, except for instead of the Konami people, it's the uh, NEC people. You can see the Bomberman there. Uh, but man, that's pretty cool. This is a PC Engine limited edition coin, and it has Star Parodier on it. Really cool. One day I will get this, not for sale. Limited edition coin. Neat. Very cool. They always package a bunch of extras in here. I'm always surprised at what I'm going to get, other than the game itself. Alright, so... I don't want to damage it, but... I don't want to spend five minutes taking off the bubble wrap, either. So... Hopefully we can get through this. Very careful not to cut anything. It shouldn't be. Uh, another PCE Works vinyl sticker, very high quality, like everything they do. No engine, no life. These are cool. I've got these before. I've never, I can never get myself to when I get stickers like this, promotional stickers, uh, or when I find old ones on, you know, sometimes I pick up old. Uh, card sets or whatever and they come with stickers. I can't bring myself to ever stick them on anything, but they're really cool And here's the same thing we have over here. Oh an English introduction. Very nice. I am very happy that I have an English introduction to this. Here we go Monkey business US slang wasting time or effort on something foolish On some foolish project an activity that is considered silly or stupid or time wasting I'm definitely familiar with the term monkey business but don't worry, Bazaru de Gozaru might be literally monkey business, but it's certainly none of the above. Bazaru de Gozaru is a great little puzzle game which challenges the player to think outside the box. Your goal is to guide Bazaru, the monkey, through 80 stages of obstacles and mayhem. You don't actively control him. Instead, you're giving, instead you're giving selected commands ahead of time, which are activated one by one. When Bazaru walks across an action symbol, a stage is, oh, one by one, when Bazaru walks across an action symbol. I have to mind my punctuation here. A stage is finished once Bazaru reaches the goal. All right. 
Of course, there are various ways to finish most stages. Some will reward you with a little money, others with lots of cash, and others again with bananas. Earned money can be spent in the shops next to each world to decorate Bazaru's home. If a stage has more action symbols than the number of action slots available to you, then your commands are used twice or as often as it takes. This is this is main this is the main menu when you'll be using an this I'm trying to correct the English as I go along. This is the main menu you'll be using in every single stage. You get four basic commands along with your first eight available actions. You will get eight more actions once you progress through the game. So here are the commands there. Okay. They look like maybe you can figure them out just by the icons. Go right, go left, jump right, jump left. I don't know, sit still, tumble, turn about, and push. That's what they look like to me anyway. Number one, delete set action sequence. Number two, back to the stage overview. Number three, quit stage and return to map. Number four, start the action. Your goal in each stage looks like this. Okay, A typical action symbol, but watch out for less typical ones. Hmm. Interesting. These are your eight basic actions from last page. Run right, run left, jump right, jump left, squat, roll, spin around, push obstacle, which is almost exactly what I said. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah, those, those are good icons if I can figure them out. And here are eight more to find along your quest. Sneak, dance, sleep, close your eyes, Cossack dance. If you don't know what Cossack dancing is, it's a uh, Russian style like squat dancing. It's what uh, Zangief does at the end of Street Fighter 2. Hop, headstand, and moonwalk. Moonwalk, that's kind of interesting. And most important, don't forget to be creative and adventurous. While some of the actions seem obvious, others will surprise you. Your health acts as a timer. You can replenish your health by eating bananas or sleeping or dancing. Interesting. That's a pretty interesting premise. I'm really glad that I got an in English introduction, which leads me to believe that the game itself was probably completely in Japanese, which is cool. That's okay. Okay. So this is a box set. Looks like it includes more than the what was this called? Bazaru de Gozaru no Game no Game de Gozaru. So I don't know. I guess this is I don't know how you would translate that. Goz Bazaru's monkey business, I guess. It's probably a good translation. But this is this looks like it has more than that than one game. It looks like it has four games, which is really cool. Okay, here we go. It has Pop and Magic. The TV show, that sounds interesting, Bazaru de Gozaru, and Moteke Tomago. Tamago. Moteke Tamago. Okay, I don't know which is which, but we will find out. This is a really, as always, I'm, I, I said this multiple times, but their stuff is high quality stuff. So all these are supposed to be puzzle and action games, so that's nice for me because I will be able to play them. No more Mahjong for me, thank you. PC Works Limited Edition promo package, so... Um, if this gets resold, and it will not be because I don't resell my stuff. Um, I don't even resell the stuff that's my own stuff. Definitely not going to sell a promo package. Um, it is properly labeled there. All titles require a PC Engine or Turbo Duo compatible console. Pop and Magic, the TV show, Bazaru de Gozaru, and Moteke Tamago require a Super System Card 3.0 or better. Software and manuals in Japanese language, some in English. Cool. Okay, here's a look at the back here. Pop and Magic, 1982. The TV show, 1995. That looks like Bomberman to me. Bazaar de Gozaru, 1996. Oh my goodness, that is really late in the life of the PC Engine. Uh, you remember, the PC Engine itself came out in 1985. The CD attachment came out, uh, I think, in 1987, if I'm not mistaken. But, but really, 1996 is really pushing towards the end of the life of the system. And Moteke, wow, 1997. Interesting. The PC Engine Memories Collection brings you, a new, brings you a unique selection of memorable and important PC Engine and Turbo Duo titles, each one a fan favorite and all considered classics today. This is kind of the general statement that they have in all these things. Every title is carefully selected and faithfully presented to please all the retro gaming aficionados out there. And then it looks like it's in French and then in Japanese. Cool. All right, well, let's pop this sucker open. I'm excited excited to be able to play something that I can understand a little bit better. Boy, I really don't want to screw
screw this up, so I'm just gonna make the tiniest laceration up here. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. So I don't want to cut into the cardboard. There we go, got it started, that's all I needed. So again, here's a picture of the back. Poppin' Magic, the TV show, Bazaru, Bazaru de Gozaru. I just like saying that. Bazaru de Gozaru. And the uh, Moteke Tamago. Just running in. Very nice, very, very nice graphic design. Just from the design of the box set. Awesome. Cool. And as always, uh, there's printing on the inside. Looks like of the four games, there's Bazaru. Looks like characters from the other games. Really cool. Nice attention to detail there. And okay, so the spine card we can save. And here are the games. They're all individually wrapped. There's Bazaru de Gozaru. Um, I'm not sure which is. This is, uh, let's look at the back here. That'll help me. This is Moteke Tamago. This is Pop and Magic. I'm familiar with Pop and Music, not Pop and Magic, and this by default has to be the TV show. It says right there, TV show. So cool. It's got versus mode. Let me take off some of this plastic. I know there's a lot of glare on this stuff. Uh, so let's see if I can rip these open. I really love these spine cards that come with this, with these games, just like they did in Japan. Honestly, like the um, the packaging of the PC work stuff is superior to the original packaging most of the time. And again, this, I don't know, this kind of falls in between collectors and just kind of for gamers. Um, it's like collector's quality stuff for sure, but it's not the original disc. They are reprints and they, they are uh, labeled as reprints, so they're not to be mistaken with the original. And uh, let's take a look at this one. This one looks like it may have an English translation because, yeah, let's, let's definitely take a look at this one. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. So, Moteke Tamago. Moteke Tamago. Next, it's soft. And, okay, and that's the Japanese manual. Sweet. It has an English manual. All right. I love it when they do this. Excellent. The Rondo, Rondo Blood one also came with an English manual. Very, very nice. So let's take a look at this quickly. It seems like a lost. You know what? It's my video. I'm going to make it as long as I want. I'm going to go through this whole damn manual. In fact, if they all have English manuals, this is going to be a very long video, but that's okay. Because you can skip forward. <laughs> so basic gameplay. I'm interested in this. Okay, basic gameplay. Uh, so D-pad moves around, shakes bushes, select, cancel your selection. That's interesting. Select, cancel your selection. All right. Run confirms your selection. Pause the game. Button one cancel your selection. Why do you need two buttons to cancel your selection or place block? Button two power up. All right. So screen layouts one player, two player. Okay, so it's up to four players. So this looks Bomberman ish. Number of chicklets collected so far. Remaining number of chicklets in the current game acts as a timer. Saving your game in one player versus calm. You can save to the turtle backup memory. You know what? I'm going to fast forward a little bit through this. I'm not fast forward, but skip about. So, Moteke Tamago allows you to play alone against one, two, or three computer enemies or to start a multiplayer game with up to four players. Human players first. Press button one on each connected controller to confirm the selection. For each player, different colors represent different locations of the nests in this on the screen. Once you're done, press one. Computer enemies, number of chicklets, option mode. Okay, so we're just setting up some stuff. All right, so here we go. Here's the, here's the meat of it. Playing Moteke Tamago. Number one, collecting eggs. Each egg you pick up will follow you around. If you can manage to keep to keep your eggs for a certain amount of time, chicklets will hatch and return to your nest. This will increase your score and maybe win you around. Okay. Collecting items. Number two, collecting items. Flashing bushes contain all kinds of hidden bonus items. By grabbing a bush and shaking it rapidly, you can reveal hidden items, run over an item to pick it up. Okay. Number three, placing blocks. To block enemies, you can place blocks. You start out with three available blocks, but you gain more by finding bonus items. Cool. Number four, dashing. 
Hold down button 1 to build up your dashing energy. Once your character starts flashing, release the button to start dashing. Blocks can be destroyed by dashing into them, and eggs of other players can be scattered by dashing into them. Sounds like that's a pretty important uh, gameplay element there. And number five, fight. When two dashing players collide, push the D-pad rapidly into the direction of your opponent. The loser will have to recollect his eggs. Hmm. So it's like a little like Bomberman, but not like Bomberman at all, it looks like. All right. Um, characters, players, four colors represent players one to four. So you play a chicken. Yep, play one of the four colored chickens. You have eggs, a chicklet will hatch from each egg. You have golden eggs, a swan will hatch from a golden, from in from each golden egg. Okay, there's a little bit of English issues here, but you know, that's to be expected. Uh, a chicklet just hatched from an egg for the chicklets, okay. Pink chicklets, a rare pink chicklet will get you a higher score. Black chicklets, a black chicklet will decrease your score. Okay, well that's kind of racist. Why is the black chicklet bad? Black chicklets should be awesome, like black ninjas. Anyway, chicklets with sunglasses. Okay, these sassy chicklets refuse to enter your nest and will try to scatter your eggs instead. Huh, sound like jerks. Jerk chicklets. Swans, swans from golden eggs will earn you extra points. They look like black swans, so, okay. They actually, hmm, this looks like the same photo. Maybe there was a mistake here. Well, we'll see. Bombi. Beware of these giant walking eggs. Bombies are rare, but when they show up, they can cause mayhem and trouble for all players. They will scatter your eggs and knock players down. Bombies can walk over blocks. They sound like son of a bitches. I'm going to avoid those. Stage introduction. How far do we get here? Okay, not too far. Stage introduction. Moteki Tamago features three different worlds, each with ten unique stages. Progressing in a single stage mode in single stage mode will unlock the stages eventually. There's countryside, the city, and ancient land. Okay. There's also different elements of the different stages here. There's normal road, bumpy road, elevated floors, bushes, hills, walls, flower beds, and has descriptions of all of them. Oh, also switches and blocks. Okay, bonus items. Moteki well, Tamago offers a number of bonus items which can be found in flashing bushes. By shaking a flashing bush, ra flashing bush rapidly, you can reveal any of the following items. A speed up, a hatch up, block up, power up, color change, time stop, or random power up. What's color change? Change your color and take over the chiclets of another player's. Oh, wow. So you basically just swap places? That's, I don't know about that. Random power up. That's, that's very like Mario Kart-ish there. Random power-up. A powerful item with surprising effects. Beware of negative effects though when pick beware of negative effects though when picking up one of these. Possible effects include but are not limited to no more enemies. Super speed becomes white. Slow down becomes gray. No blocks becomes yellow. Sounds like the poison in, in Bomberman. Sometimes they're good, most of the time they're bad. Okay, scoring and winning the game. Moteki Tamago offers an extensive coin system scoring system. Here's an overview. So an egg is plus 20, hatched is plus 30, golden egg plus 100, hatched plus 30. From the bush, there's plus, okay, so there's items from a bush, enemy, sassy chick, bomby, break a block, so all dashing into an enemy. All these give you some sort of points. Burning chiclet, burning chiclets, wow, you get 300 points for that. Winning a fight, 500 points. Looks like the, yeah, winning the fight is the most you can get, 500 points. Bonus points, chicklet reaching a nest, 100. Chicklet reaching the right nest, 200. Okay. Pink chicklet hatched, 300 remaining player opponent. Swan hatched, 1,000. Okay. Black chicklet hatched, negative 500. I guess you want to send those to your enemy's nest. Okay, interesting. I still feel like it has a lot of gameplay elements that are similar to um, Bomberman. So we shall see. Very cool. I'm very glad that that has an English manual. All right, so let's move on. Let's uh, let's hit the TV show. That's an interesting premise. The or uh, er, name, I should say. I don't know what the premise is. Mm, I best get at this. I wanna. I guess I'll just try this again. This came out in 97. 
which is crazy late in the life of the Turbo Duo, or the PC Engine, I should say. So here's the spine, the TV show. Again, this looks like a puzzle game. Might have a lot of cutscenes. But this is 1995. Was this one the 97? Yeah, this was the 97 one. Okay, so this is 95. That's what it says here. 95 right stuff. Okay, cool. Let's take a look. Okay. This one looks like it's going to be all in Japanese. Wow, some crazy characters here. Hopefully this won't be too hard to figure out. Not much to go on here. This one's going to be a lot of trial and error. I'll probably have to look up the directions on how to play this if I have too much trouble. But anyway, it's a pretty nice thick manual. Very nice. And again, that's PC Works logo, both on the disc and the manual, so there is no confusing it for the authentic product, which is good. All right, and this one is Poppin Magic. This one is 1992. Okay. I have a feeling it's going to be nothing like pop and music, which is a Domani game, or pop and twin beat. It's both by Konami. So pop and magic. Very chipper, cute. Let's take a look. Again, looks like we are stuck with the Japanese manual. Uh, this is very, way, very thick too. So it's a super CD-ROM game. Very brightly colored manual. I wish, I really wish manual still came like this. Look at this, it's just gorgeous. All the artwork, all full color, glossy pages. And again, this is the reproduction manual, which might actually be better than the original. This is so old, it has the original like white PC Engine controller. It doesn't even have the core, core graphics controller. At least I think that's a PC Engine original controller. Unless it's the, the Duo R. I don't know. Anyway. Um, hmm. Yeah, this looks like... Uh, Side scroller action game, maybe. There's some power ups here. So, there's magic in the title, so I assume that you get some sort of magic. And you got enemies, looks like enemies, just skull, mummy, I don't know, frog, snail. We'll see if this one will... Well, hey, some English. Well, <laughs> a lot of chibi characters in this. Looks like a very cute game. Oh, this is like an offer to clip this and send to Telnet. Telnet Japan Users Club. Interesting. <laughs> Have to take care of your CDs. Very cool. All right. That one is going to require some... Trial and error, some investigation, probably offline or online as well. Okay, and then here is the the main one, as far as I'm concerned. What was this called again? Gozaru, Bazaru, de Gozaru, no game, de Gozaru. Okay, I don't know what maybe that's the that's probably about a three actually when I think about it. Just looks like one to me because I'm uh, American. Let's see what we've got here. And although this, this I'm sure this is not an English manual, um, but remember we do have the English introduction, so it kind of gives us an overview of how to play that, so we should be able to get through that okay, I think. Right, again, a nice thick manual. Japanese. Okay. Let's just take a quick look here. Again, the older white PC Engine controller. We're talking about saving. 
pig, a lobster, some kind of bulldog, I don't know, puppy, I guess. Wow, this is very intricate. <laughs> this is a lot of text. The graphics themselves seem pretty plain. I wonder why it's on uh, Super CD and not just a, a turbo chip or what do they call a, a Q, Q card in Japan. Yeah, the game doesn't look like it's super uh, detailed graphically. Maybe it has a lot of, it's probably for the Red Book audio. Maybe it has cutscenes. It's okay. Well, not a whole lot that I'm going to glean from <laughs> this Japanese only manual. So again, I'm glad I have this uh, English introduction starter guide. So yeah, pretty cool. Very thick, high quality printed stuff on all these games. So we got the, and then we got the bonus of, um, what was it, Moteke, Moteke Tamago being in English. Very cool. So okay, these are the four games included in the uh, PC Engine Memories Puzzle and Action box set. Very cool stuff. I'm not sure if this is all in frame, but um, let me check real quick. Yeah, mostly, it's not very straight, but you get the idea. So yeah, I'm gonna play these games individually and I'll include that uh, as part of this video. Uh, I'll probably start with, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go chronologically. So we'll probably do Poppin' Magic first, then the TV show, then Bazaru, the Gozaru, and then with Woteka Tamago. I think that's a good way to pr approach these. All right guys, so let's uh, take a little break here and uh, we'll come back to the gameplay. We'll